G'day, welcome to uh, another episode of Shit Hotels of Australia. This time I'm back in Yamba. I've done a few here. This is the first trip for, uh, for personal reasons, uh, heading back down to the far south. Tonight I'm staying at the Stella, and we're here right on Clarence Street, looking out over the Pacific Ocean, just across from the Pacific Hotel where they had that really great steak sandwich. I might have one of them for tea tonight. And more importantly, room to park what is quite a cumbersome load. So what would happen Google Maps, uh, satellite view, checking out uh, hotels to find out where I could actually park this beast. Uh, just wait for that car to move and I'll have an even easier way to get away on uh, Tuesday morning. is uh, room seven. Good. Nice touch, some music. Small. So we've got a, it's like a double bed. Uh, bit of an old fashioned air conditioner. That'll be turned off tonight. Fortunately, it's not that hot. Some artwork. Little bathroom. Large shower head. Some nice toiletries. No plug. Hmm. Oh well, same old issue. And a toilet. And now let's check out the TV. We have a high sense TV and it turns on. Okay. And we've see we've got the channel list up here. We've got all the free to airs. Now tomorrow night, although I'm not actually going to be here tomorrow night. Uh, yes, I am. Is that the 11th? Yes, tomorrow night we've got the big bash. So um, have we got? No, we don't have those. Oh, hang on, we maybe we do. Seven two, seven mate. We have seven two and seven mate. So if I needed to, I could watch it on seven. That's if the, if the hurricanes are actually on seven, um, whereas they're probably not. They're on Ko. But we'll check out the the Wi-Fi in a sec. But um, we've also got here. You can see we've got Disney Plus, YouTube, Prime Video. So let's see if we've got something. And yes, we do. We've got YouTube. And what have we got on YouTube? We've got Life Imitating Art. We've got Yamba. Last time I was here. So, um, as I said, this time it's the first time I've actually chosen to come here. And I chose it because this video is, is Yamba a number one or a number two? Well, it's definitely not a number two. It's a really nice place to stay and visit. Unfortunately, this is going to be a pretty short Shit Hotels of Australia video because I won't be doing the exploration of the town because I've done it before. So check out this video on uh, Yamba, number one or number two, and I think you'll agree with me. Doesn't seem to be a price, which is which is nice. Doesn't seem to be any detergent. But um, oh well, I won't be needing the laundry tonight, but maybe in a few days I'll need a laundry.
and there's a courtyard. There's some people there, so I won't go and check it out. Eight ball room, games room, I guess. Card table. Nice full size eight ball room. And another little area to gather. Pretty good. So. And another little lounge. So while the facility is actually in the room, are nothing to write home about. Um, there's nice communal facilities, so you can uh, come and get some food and sit outside and play a game of eight ball if you had some friends, which I don't. But yeah, pretty good. So now let's check out the Wi-Fi. And uh, I've connected to the network, and uh, let's see how we go with, with Netflix. And uh, we'll watch Fisk. Well, I've already watched the, that on ABC. You can watch it for free, you know. Yep. Pretty quick. Looking good for Wi-Fi. That means tomorrow night with the KL app, you should be able to watch the Hurricanes. And um, yeah, it's uh, looking good. Now I might just, uh, just um, check out the Pacific Hotel for dinner. It was good there before. here at the uh, Pacific Hotel for dinner. Didn't have the steak sandwich on the menu tonight, which is a bit of a shame, so I'm going fish and chips. Uh, anyway, uh, it was pretty good last time, and uh, by the number of people here tonight, uh, it's pretty popular, and uh, I reckon it'll be pretty good tonight. So, here's cheers. So this is the fish and chips, $28, uh, looks like a couple of bits of flathead, not sure whether they're local flathead or imported, who can tell, but yeah, not bad value for 28 bucks. So here's cheers, bon appetit. Well, to be honest, that was disappointing. Fish was overcooked, chips were overcooked, no dressing on the salad, yeah. So the price is okay, but um, compared to that steak sandwich I had last time I was here, it was um, yeah, not the best, but still, the view is pretty good. In fact, I feel really comfortable here in Yamba. Um, it's not just because I've been here a few times before, I don't know, just as I said in the last video, the Yamba number one or number two video, really has a great feel to this place. It's certainly better land that, that place that I think hopefully I've left for good. So cheers. Here's to a new life. So from the uh, number of people stepping out onto the veranda to take videos of the view, just like I did, I'm guessing that actually most of the people here at the Pacific Hotel tonight are not locals, but visitors. And it may explain the unfortunately um, less than average food tonight. Because um, this is peak tourist season. Last time I was here was uh, not tourist season at all. And um, yeah, maybe it's like churn them out, get them in, get them out, and uh, I'll go somewhere else tomorrow if, if they come back to Yamba. Um, yeah, a bit disappointing with the, um, the tourist influence because this place was brilliant the last time I was here. Later that same evening. So when I checked in, the, um, the woman at reception um, was, I think, French. Um, didn't uh, say her name. And uh, look, all right, this might be taken in uh, today's woke environment as uh, being sexist, but 
she was absolutely bloody gorgeous. But um, the French theme sort of uh, rings through to the room as well because this um, room is very typical of a, of a hotel room in France. Small, um, but um, provided the basics and um, everything you want to do is actually outside the hotel. Um, yeah, so don't know whether uh, she's an owner or an employee. I just uh, noticed when I walked back from the Pacific Hotel that she was still here and changed another clothes. So maybe living here, maybe a backpacker, who knows? But um, yeah, French feel. Uh, magnifique. The following day. One of the three previous occasions when I visited the Amber, <coughs> they were all for work. So one thing I thought about was if I ever get a chance to come back, I'll check out this museum. Well, here I am, back, one free day, Monday, closed. Oh well, it's like being in Norway, except it's Sondag stinked, because everything's closed on Sunday. Three hours later. And now for the shit hotels of Australia, instant coffee test. I actually really like this one because again, here in the Stella in Amber, we have espresso. I specifically asked for no espresso, and um, the Pacific is just over there. <laughs> espresso, no expiry date because no one in their right mind would ever risk drinking it. So let's check out some upkeep issues. Um, firstly, the out of the 1960s aircon um, is a little bit of disappointment. Apart from that, this room looks really neat. A few little scuff marks on the door. We go into the bathroom. We have a crack in the plaster that goes right around. Apart from that, a little patch of rust. Yeah, not bad. And uh, right across the road from my room seven at Stella Yamba is Faulty Towers. I mean, this is where Basil lives now. what you were expecting to see out of a talky hotel bedroom window? <laughs> Sydney Opera House, perhaps? <laughs> well, we haven't done a Basil response for quite a while, but um, on the December the 23rd, 2021, Angeli stayed at the Stella, and she complained about the cockroaches in the very tiny rooms, and the beds were smaller than the standard. And Basil's response was, all of our rooms are advertised as double bedrooms, except for the single bedrooms in which we have three. So the beds are not smaller than normal, but are double beds exactly as advertised, as are the rooms. We clean our rooms scrupulously, and our ratings in general reflect that. I believe one of the five or six rooms your party booked for one night had cockroaches in the bathroom in the morning. We have regular pest treatments as any motel does, but as we live in a semi-tropical climate with gardens outside, occasionally these visitors will make their way up shower drains. When we investigated, we found garden cockroaches, not ones which colonise dirty, unclean rooms. <laughs> so um, <laughs> they employ uh, entomologists there, do we? Okay, and then on August the 2nd, 2022, uh, Jennifer stayed there and said misleading advertising, requested a room with water views, well, what did she expect, Sydney Opera House perhaps? which turned out to be stretching the imagination. Uh, there's no facility such as a kettle. And Basil's response was, there is a kettle, as well as tea, coffee, sugar, cups, glasses, and milk in every room. There's certainly one in the room during your night stay. The three great cafes up here on the hill within blocks walk of us. Um, your room, <laughs> let me get this, your room had a view across town to Angari and Pippi Beach, which we might say, 
are about seven to eight kilometres away. I mean, what did you expect? Sydney Opera House, perhaps. And from the veranda across the road to the full horizon. So, well done, Basil. <laughs> yeah, you've got a room, a view, but it's, uh, it's seven k's away. Okay, right, thanks, Basil. Back to normal programming. Drink up, me hearty Joe. And now it's time for the pirate score. Now, um, I'm doing the pirate score after the first night, not after the second night, um, but that's because I'm checking out tomorrow and uh, hitting the road. Uh, probably I'll hit the road at 6.30 a.m. so I can potentially avoid the worst of the traffic through Sydney. Um, so we'll do the pirate score now, um, and I think I can, I've got enough to make a, make a call. So firstly, cleanliness and upkeep. Um, yeah, look, the room is tiny, and uh, it, uh, but it was very clean, and apart from a few scratches and scuffs, the upkeep was really good. So for cleanliness and upkeep, four stars. Facilities, uh, well, that's where it lets us down a bit. I mean, firstly, there weren't really any facilities in the tiny room. There was a, a kettle, um, a fridge, and I guess the disappointing thing was the... Um, very outdated 1960s-esque, maybe let's be generous, 1970s-esque um, aircon, and um, which means that uh, it was it kept the room cool, uh, must admit, and fortunately uh, last night wasn't too hot, so having to turn it off because of the noise that it would make um, is uh, wasn't too bad. So for facilities, two stars. Add-ons. Um, the public areas were really, really good. Um, the, the games room, the little, little separate lounge where you could could uh, relax. I mean, if you didn't want to sit in, in your pokey little room, um, it had the laundry was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, free laundry and um, yeah, lots of machines and dryers. Um, it didn't have a restaurant, although it looked like it must, at one time did. There was a room marked dining room, and there was uh, what looked like a kitchen but um, no no restaurant so but in reality like the Pacific Hotel is a two minute walk away so for add-ons three stars entertainment and Wi-Fi well the TV had all those uh, streaming services and they actually worked so that's absolute bonus and the Wi-Fi fast seamless um, I tested tonight with the, with the Big Bash but uh, I think I can honestly say now that entertainment and Wi-Fi, four stars. Um, bed and bath. Well, the bed was actually too soft for my liking and by the time I slumped down in it, into it, I woke up with a stiff neck this morning, which is a bit of a problem because we're driving a lot tomorrow, so I might have to pop a couple of Voltaren. Um, but the, the bathroom, uh, it did have a plug. I found a plug in the, uh, in the top drawer, so that was, that was a bonus. Um, it was small, but it did everything perfectly. Um, so for bed and bath, three stars. Service. Um, I didn't get my room serviced today because I slept in to, to nine and then I was doing some work, so I put the do not disturb sign out there. But the rooms were serviced each day. Uh, which is great, great bonus. Um, and look, I can just say that the, the charming uh, receptionist um, who was so welcoming and um, so helpful um, really sort of boosted that service um, through the roof. So for service for the Stella in Yamba, four stars. And now the one you've been waiting for, the, the theme that started the uh, shit hotels of Australia. Uh, series. The fact that I'd actually got a better night's sleep in a couple of hotels than I did at my unit in Cannonvale. Uh, the better than home bonus. Well, unfortunately, uh, no. I did have to put earplugs in last night um, only because of the fridge noise. Now, I could have turned the fridge off and I reckon I would have slept perfectly without earplugs. Uh, again, turning that aircon off as well. Um, but I've got the beers that I need to keep cold for the uh, for for the trip. So and the uh, the ice blocks to freeze in the freezer. So turning off the um, the fridge wasn't really an option. So um, earplugs in, uh, good night's sleep. Uh, apart from that stiff neck. Uh, so no no bonus. So for the Stella Yamba, that's a total 
of 20 out of 30. Um, so if you've enjoyed the, watching this video, um, there'll be a few more on the road. I'm staying at Mittagong tomorrow night, uh, Bendigo the night after that. And then I've got four nights in Melbourne where I hope to catch up with some uh, former friends and colleagues. Um, and uh, we'll be comparing, uh, wait for it, we'll be comparing the Great Southern in Melbourne to the Great Southern in Brisbane and um, see what sort of comparison because not only uh, from memory was it not too bad a hotel, but I'm paying for four nights a little over $100 a night. Um, which is significantly less than that Great Southern in Brisbane. So anyway, stay tuned for those videos coming up in, uh, in a few weeks. And uh, as always, if you like this one, click like, please subscribe, and we'll see you very shortly. Uh, hopefully not, but possibly yes, considering the hotels I'm gonna have to choose with parking for the boat. A shit hotel of Australia. Thanks for watching.